Welcome to Attention Retention with Jackie McManus, your source for the latest trends in transportation recruitment and retention. And now back to the Tim Ridley Show. It is time for Retention Attention with driver recruitment and retention specialist and our good friend, Jackie McManus. Jackie, good morning to you. Tim, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. We finally uh, had some rain here in New York City, so it broke the the 100-degree humidity a little bit. So <laughs> um, I'm, I'm very happy about that. It's 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 in the low 70s this morning, which it's just, it feels nice. It's a nice crisp air. More tolerable, isn't it? Yes, yes. And uh, I'm not... I'm not using hairspray quite as much, so it, it feels it feels better for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. This year yeah. has, has just flown by, and you're talking about hairspray, and after it. yeah, and after a I while, you'll be covering it. your hair because it'll be so cold out there. I know it's absolutely. You know, Tim, when I was growing up, my mother always said to me, "You know, as a child, you always wanted to be older." And right. you always wanted to, be at, you know, at seven, you wanted to be 16. And, um, you know, because I had older cousins, and of course I wanted to be like them. And she'd say, you know, Jackie, she's like, As, when you get older, every year goes faster and faster, faster. Do not wish your time away. And I call her every year, and I'm like, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> every year around the side, it just goes a little bit faster and faster. So. She definitely it, it like, gets a does. chuckle out of hearing that she was right when I was in my uh, <laughs> teen years, for sure. <laughs> now, we're, now we're just trying to slow the roll. You know, at first we were trying exactly. to speed things up. Now we want to slow it down. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what do you have on tap for us today? And by the way, our lines are open if you'd like to speak with Jackie at 615-292-6366. And also, if it's easier for you, you can shoot your comment or question by email, and that's at tim at radionemo.com. So what's on the table? We know recruiting and retention, but what's new for us? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first off, I want to say um, that all the feedback that we get from the show with drivers calling in or sending their emails on recruiting retention is absolutely wonderful and invaluable. Um, we take this information and we bring it back to our customers in the space and try to use better practices so that they can really have a better relationship with their drivers. So I would love to hear from drivers if you guys call in and tell us, I want to know exactly what's keeping you at your current carrier or, you know, maybe why did you leave a certain carrier? Those, that information is so invaluable for us because we can take that and give it back to the the, um, the carriers and talk about retention best practices. Because right now, Tim, companies really are obviously always focused on recruiting, but more so really focused on retaining and recognition. So I like to call it now the three R's. We got recruiting, retaining, and recognition. How are you, first of all, bringing in drivers and how are you communicating to drivers right from the first 30 seconds of the phone call? Um, What does that messaging look like? And are your recruiters trained to really have meaningful conversations with drivers? And then more importantly, once they're onboarded, how are you retaining those drivers? And a big piece that we're seeing a lot of carriers really hone in on is having, and we've talked about this before, Tim, but it's it's such a strong point, having a coaching mentality. So not only do they have, um, do they pair up the driver with a senior driver and have that relationship, but they also tra- are coaching drivers to help them navigate what they think the better career path is going to be for them. You know, maybe they start in a dock, they get their CVL, they, they go a couple years OTR, they then move to local, and then they say, hey, you know what, I may see a position in dispatching or recruiting and want to work more in-house. And so we're seeing now that companies are trying to really create a career path for drivers 
to that, um, you know, some folks don't want to be on the road 24 seven uh, for the remainder of their life. They want to try different opportunities. So it's really exciting to see that, Tim, that um, these companies are really looking at is how can we create the best career path and a coaching mentality for our, all of our employees from, you know, A to Z. Boy, that is great. You know, Jackie, I, I'm, I was listening to you and, and I just started thinking about how grateful I am that trucking companies are really vamping up their their game in terms of trying to make things better for the drivers, not only get them in the door, but also right. mentoring and and uh, recognition and, and retaining these drivers. Because I've, I've often mentioned, uh, Jack, and you've heard me mention this countless times, that it used to be a time when drivers were known in the office or by dispatchers as, oh, I can get a driver a dime of does a dozen, and they didn't care yeah. how they treated them. But times have changed, thankfully, and also thanks mm-hmm. to you as well and, and to our listeners who contribute, uh, and, you know, to, to your calls in terms of helping companies to, to make things better for drivers. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, in the years I've been in the industry, Kim, um, you know, only for 15 years, so just, just a small percentage of how, you know, some of the folks here and, and, and yourself, but it's been amazing just in the 15 years that being in the industry, that it, it was that mentality 15 years ago, uh, so much more, and then even beforehand. Yeah. Um, and to see that, that com- companies are really, they're coming to our company, KJ Media, and they're saying, hey, how do we, okay, we know how to, you know, advertise and get folks in the door, but how can we lower our retention, our, our, our turnover rate? Uh, because it was the industry norm, Tim, just to have a 70 to 90% turnover rate. Oh, yeah. That's astronomical. And, yeah. and, you know, if you think about it, we all accepted it for years, but that mm-hmm. shouldn't be the norm. And... Um, there really has been change agents in this space. And I got to tell you, a lot of our clients that are the most successful with this, in their executive leadership, at least one to two people have an active CDO and was a truck driver themselves. Oh, wow. So they're able to take their the information that they have gathered from being out on the road and bring it to the executive leadership um, and that is really cool to see. And then that also showcased the career path that you can get. You know, some of my clients, they started as a CDO, a driver. They're now the CEO of a company. Um, that's really cool. Um, without, you know, a college degree and being $200,000 worth of debt, whatever college is costing these days. So it's, it's incredible to see this movement um, of, of carriers that are really trying to make a difference and, figure out ways to not only recruit, but retain and recognize their drivers. Absolutely. 615-292-6366. Jackie, you want to throw that those questions out again before we go into our break? Absolutely. I would love to hear what's keeping you at your current carrier, or maybe if you recently moved uh, carriers, what what was the reason for you leaving a certain carrier and moving to another one? I'd love to hear about um, all your feedback and uh, be able to discuss more of that with our customers on the trucking side. All right. Jackie McManus is with us on Retention Attention. This is Tim Ridley on Sirius XM. Jackie McManus is with us. This is Tim Ridley on Sirius XM. And even if you're thinking about leaving your company, to join another company. Why are you leaving and why? Uh, what's what's attracting you to the company that you're thinking about going to? Jackie, we have Brian with us. Brian, good morning. You're live on the show with Jackie. Good morning, everybody. Jackie, thank you for taking my call. Good morning, Brian. I have I have a couple pet peeves. Um, mm-hmm. I've been at this, this company I'm at now has never once lied to me or take credit for my work. Love that. Um, these, these big companies, I, I, I don't like the big companies because when I hear dispatchers say taking credit for my work, I call them out. 
Mm-hmm. Don't be standing around, oh, I made X amount of dollars for this company. Really? Uh, how many right. votes did you pick up and how many did you deliver? Mm-hmm. It just don't set right with me or are or, or lying to. And like I said, I've been at this company three years now, and not one, one, not one lie came out of their mouth. That's why I'm here. That's amazing. Brian, how um, how many, what size fleet are you currently working with? Because you mentioned big companies, so I'm curious what size fleet your current carrier is. I really don't know how many people there are because we're like a, uh, we, we, we slip seat. Um, but yep. right now I'm assigned, I'm assigned to a company out of Owings Mills that has two trucks. And they have Got a lot to me. Yep. So it's like yep. a small company, but still, they haven't lied. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I take offense to that because I try to be the best I can be, and I just don't like being lied. Hey, Brian, are you still right. there? Down here. Okay, yeah, he started fading away. Yeah. Uh, Jackie, another thing that Brian, when he calls in, I'll ask how he's doing, and he'll say, I'm living the dream. So he oh, he's uh, he's really happy that. where he is. I love I that. Am, I am it living is, the dream. It really makes it, – it, it's those small things, right, um, which add up to these really big, big things. And, you know, drivers, they are responsible for getting the loads there on behalf of the, the customers, right, and – it, it is 95% the driver that makes a company successful. So the fact that the company that you're currently with honors that and really is is honest, and that is just such a, a key core value that is something it's easier said than done. But when companies do it right, they have drivers like you that are out there champion for them and saying, hey, I'm living the dream. And that's a beautiful thing. I appreciate that because, uh, like I said, I have a two-strike rule. You okay. lie to me once, okay, that's fine. You lie to me again, I'm looking. Because if you if you lie once and you lie mm-hmm. twice, you're going to keep lying. So I, gotta, I, I can't work for a liar. Yep, yep. I think the, the old saying is, you know, um, you know, First time that's on that's on me. If you know, second time that's on you. You know, it's time to move on, right? So, um, I think that's a great philosophy to have. And I do find now with smaller to mid-sized carriers, those are the carriers that really have the bandwidth to focus on their relationships and their interactiveness with drivers on a daily basis. And that's where drivers really want to be right now. Um, just across the board. Not to say that there's not great bigger carriers out there. It's just easier to manage on a small to medium sized level. Oh yeah, I mean I, I love the smaller ones because I'm a name and not a truck number. Yep. Uh, I, yep. You know, um, I got I lost one job due to COVID because they shut the port down and I, mm-hmm. I had an incident, but they never lied to me. So. Yeah. There was somebody, every time I call in, hey, how you doing? And they knew exactly who I was, and that's, you know, made me feel special. Yep, exactly. They know who you are. They may know who your family is. Um, and to have that feeling of family within your workplace is, is what we all strive to, to have. I mean, we spend 40 to 80 hours a week, right, with, with our co-workers and employees so why not make it a positive experience all around exactly i try to help out when i can um they say yep. hey i know it's not in your job description but hey can you do this for me hey i got no problem with that right right you treat you scratch my back i'll scratch yours and that's and, and that's why i'm still here and i'm not even thinking about moving because they treat me like 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 family and you know yep Look, and, and, and it just makes me feel great going to work, knowing that if something were to happen, they had my back. Yep, and let's face it, things are going to happen. You're out there on the road every day. It's not going to be peachy clean every day. And uh, to have that support system is absolutely huge. 
Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Well, Brian, thanks, right, brother. We appreciate you. Oh. You have a good day now. Be safe, my friend. Thanks, Brian. All right. Jackie, we have an email, and uh, he says, uh, it starts off saying, Jackie, thank you for all you do for us drivers. Uh, the company I've been with, I've, the company I'm with, I've been with for a little over four years. It took me 28 years to find this company, but I finally wow. found a home. When I walk into any of the terminals, the terminal manager and the staff call me by my name. They look like they're happy to see me. I can walk into the terminal manager's office anytime I have a problem, no matter what terminal I go to. Also, with the recognition you mentioned, our company does give a safety recognition and also a mm. tenure recognition as well. The company that I'm with, I've always searched for it but didn't know where to find it. Now that I found it, I ain't going to use the word I ain't. He said, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we, we appreciate you uh, for sending this email in. You yeah. know, Jackie, there's just something about hearing your name and, and hearing, hear, being able yeah. to just hear your name it actually uh causes a chemical reaction inside our brain and that's why it's so important for companies to to know their drivers and just like uh, brian was saying not by driver number but by the driver's name and calling that driver's name when they walk in makes that driver feel feel real good yeah and you're so right it is chemical i was you know i was actually going to say the same same thing tim it goes down to the psychology of the brain and the psychology of the brain is we want to be recognized. And our name, obviously, our birth name, is something that we want to hear. And we're finding, too, that a lot of our clients, even in the recruitment process, are really making an effort from the start. As soon as a driver calls in, write down on a piece of paper quickly what their name is. First name, last name. If they have a wife or a husband or a brother that they keep mentioning, write that person's name down, too. And use that in your in your conversation with them. Um, the more that you say someone's name within a conversation, the more personal it feels, and it starts from the beginning. Um, it's lovely to hear that this company really acts and, and not only says that they may have an open door policy, but they truly are you know, walking the walk by having an open door policy where this, this um, driver that emailed in said, hey, I can go into the terminal manager's office and I can talk to them about the good, the bad, and the ugly, and they're going to well receive my information. It, um, it's something that is totally, it's such a value across the board. A lot of companies advertise it, but not a, comp a lot of companies walk the walk, and that's really incredible to hear. Absolutely. It, it certainly is. I remember back, this was um, pretty early, uh, fairly early in mm -hmm. my career, Jackie, and I remember walking into the terminal manager's office, and there there was an issue, and and sitting down, actually, he didn't even invite me to sit down, but I, I just took it upon myself <laughs> after a while to sit down, Absolutely. and I could tell that he was not even interested in what I was saying. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you can tell when a person is concerned about what you're talking about and a person who is just wanting you to just go ahead and get it out and get out of their office and that's how he was and I never forgot that but but on the other flip side of that token when the terminal manager or whomever it is you're speaking with at the terminal is is uh is actually looking you in the eye and you can tell that he or she is interested in what you have to say and what is bothering you and try to come up with a solution, you know, and that's, that really makes the, a difference right there as well, whether a driver feels like he or she is appreciated and, and is yeah. important, is an important integral part of the company, or if they do not feel appreciated. And if they feel appreciated, you know, it goes both ways. The, the, the driver will bend over backwards to, to make sure that, you know, and go above and beyond the call of duty to get yeah. things done. And, uh, and, and, and they, even the company, if the driver does that, the company s as well will, will uh, bend over backwards for that driver. Totally. It, it's body language, right? You know, when right. it's amazing to me. If you think about that, how long ago was that conversation? And that that's still imprinted in your mind about that, that conversation that happened. So it probably wasn't last week, right? So, no, it wasn't. It was many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's amazing that that was that still all these years later that 
kind of negative experience sits with you about that conversation and it probably showed you, hey, this is not what I'm going to do if, you know, whenever yeah. I'm in that seat because it's body language. It's, is my terminal manager or the manager making direct eye contact? Are they, do they have their phones down? Are they not looking at their computer? Are they facing me and really genuinely interested in the conversation? Um, and obviously people are busy, but taking those five to 10 minutes to really be tuned into what your driver has to say makes a world of a difference. Absolutely. It, it certainly does. You want to make that driver feel that they are part of that family. You want yeah. to create that family atmosphere right there. And that's so important. And again, thank you for what you do and taking the feedback to the companies. And speaking of which, how can our listeners get in touch with you to give you feedback on what you need to take back to the companies? Oh, you can go to my website. It's kjtransmedia.com. Or you can give me a, a, a phone call on my direct line. It's 516-743-2816. That's my direct line. I would love to hear from any and all drivers that have some really good experience on what's the, the good, the bad, and the ugly about um, certain carriers that they're working for. Tim, it's always a pleasure being on because I'm able to take this information and 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 try to change how companies are treating their drivers so that we can make this industry overall a better place to work. Absolutely. We appreciate you, Jackie. You have a very great appreciate rest of it.